Insulin is a hormone produced by the body. An important role of insulin is to tell the body's cells to absorb glucose from the blood. In doing this, insulin helps us in two ways. Reducing the amount of glucose in the blood and helping our cells to get the energy they need. Another role of insulin is that when the body does not need energy, it helps us to store fat. The NHS notes that in type 1 diabetes, the body's immune system kills off its own insulin producing cells. This means that people with type 1 diabetes can't produce enough insulin to control their own blood sugar levels. As a result, people with type 1 diabetes will need to take insulin injections, sometimes up to several times a day. According to the US National Institutes of Health, in type 2 diabetes, the body struggles to respond to insulin. This is known as insulin resistance. It's almost as if there's a bad network affecting communication within the body. As a result, the body produces more insulin to deal with the blood sugar levels. In type 2 diabetes, as it advances, patients may find they need to inject themselves with insulin to control their blood sugar levels. Injecting insulin can be a bit of a pain at first, but patients on the Diabetes Forum report that it usually gets a lot easier over time. Some people get so used to injecting that it can sometimes be possible to forget whether they injected five minutes ago. Insulin helps us to lower our blood sugar and helps our cells to take in energy. But what if we inject too much insulin? The University of Birmingham's medical school states that if we inject too much, the insulin will remove too much glucose from our blood, which will cause our blood sugar levels to become too low. It's important, therefore, that we take in enough insulin so that our blood sugar levels aren't high, but not so much that we go too low. Your health team should be able to provide you with plenty of help in striking the right balance with your insulin.